Guys, it's October 15th, 2022, and I am getting ready for Home Depot to come over. <laughs> um, they called me yesterday morning when I was at work, and they said that the materials are in, and they asked me if they could install the bookshelves today. And of course, I didn't want to procrastinate and put it off a week, because I knew that if I put them off a week, then it was going to also, you know, I'm also the type of person that would wait another week to start getting stuff moved moved around the house. So, so last night and this morning, basically, I'm just kind of moving stuff from room to room. I'm not going to show you the rest of the house, but I will show you that I've temporarily piled up all of my journals and books and everything like that here in the laundry room next to my uh, washer and dryer. Considering getting rid of both of the bookshelves, the one from my childhood when I got when I was 11 and this newer one that I have right here, but then I remembered, I'm like, you know what, I've been in such dire need of storage for the past two years that I may as well just keep them and put them in other rooms. I'm going to sweep in my room a little bit and then when they get here I'll see if it's possible for them to move the shorter bookshelf to the side of my bedroom that I don't really use. Um, and so since I'm in here, I may as well just show you all a tour of my posters. This one, I kind of go back and forth as to whether I want to keep or not. Some of these posters I've had since I was in college and then some of them are newer. This one I got probably from doing some online street team promotion type stuff. Back in the early 2000s, there were a lot of bands that had online street teams where you could promote the artist and earn points and then you could trade in your points for roar rewards <laughs> so um i got this poster back in the day <laughs> and um so this is of the girl group dream these are also posters from my teenage years this poster of lila mccann i got at fanfare in 99 when my mom and i went and this poster of avril lavigne i got in college at some point and the poster of Shannon Kerfman is new to me, even though it's a vintage album cover, which is, you know, <laughs> Loud Guitars, Big Suspicions, it's one of my all-time favorite albums. And um, so I got this poster off of eBay recently. This girl, I don't want to mispronounce her name, but she's a model. I'll have to link her Instagram below. She has a lot of, pr a lot of really pretty pictures, and I think she has her own shop where she sells things. This is a white oleander poster. Um, <laughs> I originally got a poster of this movie cover in college, and then I didn't take care of it. I didn't hang it up or anything. So this one is actually a repurchase, but I've always loved the movie. And then this, <laughs> of course, <laughs> this is the Blue Rose from I Know Who Killed Me. And ever since I saw the Blue Rose, it made a huge impression on me. Whenever I had birthday cakes over the years in my 20s, I, they always had Blue Roses on them. And I love buying clothes and accessories that have, especially a royal Blue Rose, but I like other shades too. That's good. And then this is a poster of Poltergeist 3 um, of Heather O'Rourke. I got this poster back in college. There was a guy online who, um, I think he lived in Canada or something, and he wasn't able to get the E! True Hollywood story, you know, from, from E! Entertainment Television, so I made him a copy of that, and um, so he traded me that for this poster. This side of the wall, I have a, post, a mini poster of May, and this is a promotional one I got back in the day from Lennon Murphy. I don't know how I got this. If I could have, I wish I would have gotten like some other merch from her. But anyway, I love this poster. I think it's signed. Um, she's still one of my favorite artists. And another favorite artist of mine is the band Isley. I, my mom and I saw them in concert one time when they were in the city. I was one of those girls that had pictures of Jonathan Taylor Thomas all over the wall. <laughs> Covering all the walls and the doors and everything. And I also had pictures of, um, you know, female singers and female, like, actresses that I admired and stuff. Um, but I was thinking about that just now and I was like, you know, it's like so... It's so different for, you know cited for let's say non-disabled people having posters on their walls than it is for 
disabled people in a way because it's like you know when you're if you're a disabled person and you have pictures of non-disabled people on your walls it's just like kind of aspirational and you know that you're you're never gonna be that you know like for me i'm never gonna be the pretty popular sighted chick all right so we got the shorter bookshelf moved into my room this one has been moved into the living room slash kitchen area i wonder how much of <laughs> much drilling there's gonna be today and how long this job's gonna take It's noon and the guy is still here working on it, hammering and drilling and everything. I honestly expected there was going to be at least two people coming out here, but it's just the one guy. My mom was the type of person that whenever contractors were around, she would just go about whatever it was she was doing. You know, whether it was watching TV or eating or whatever. But I'm one of those people that always feels like I need to be on call in case something goes wrong. So I tend to walk around with my shoes on and I don't really eat or, you know, watch TV or anything like that. So, um, yeah, <laughs> um, I did take a rest for a little while to try to get rid of this headache that I got going on. But, um, <laughs> yeah, we'll just see how this goes. I'm guessing it's going to be an all day project. Turn the fan lighting off because it was coming in here a little bit harsh. But anyway, <laughs> here are the bookshelves for the most part. Um, so what the guy told me, they are gonna have to come back. Um, they're gonna have to come back and put something to fill in. I don't remember what he called it, but it's something to kind of fill in the gaps at the bottom down there. I, I guess so no dust or anything will get underneath. I have no idea. And then he said that they accidentally measured this part wrong he said they mentioned it eight inches longer so he had to cut it down and so he's gonna he temporarily put this here but he's gonna have to like order more shelves or something like that i don't know um he said it'll take like four weeks and then on this side what i noticed and i'm sure some people would think it's a very nitpicky thing but I was really hoping that the bookshelf on this wall was going to extend to about right here. Like right next to the, uh, the wall light outlet thing. Um, <laughs> obviously I'm tired. It's a few days later and I'll admit I've been randomly just walking in here and admiring <laughs> the library. Um, it's so peaceful and pretty and I'm just still kind of in awe. <laughs> that it's actually real um and as you can see i'm kind of like doing a preliminary brainstorming type planning just to get an idea of like what i might put where um so i have at the moment i have vinyl and songbooks and uh uh musician <laughs> autobiographies and stuff right on on these shelves and then here i have some acting books i have at least one more i need to find I have a last drive-in shelf. I have some of my taller love paint and stitches bags up at the top so that they wouldn't get crushed in my other closet <laughs> with the smaller shelves. And then I got to get all my journals. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily am going to organize them, but I got <laughs> I to at least get them all kind of standing up on the shelves and stuff. But anyway, I talked to Home Depot and um, they took full responsibility for the mix-up when it came to um, the shelves not filling up this whole entire wall here. What happened was when that visually impaired lady originally came out and took measurements, um, she, you know, they, they brought that back to the office and then, um, they had a sighted guy who came out, took the measurements again and corrected them. And apparently the corrected measurements were not like typed into the system. So they went by the the original measurements instead, but uh, it's it's all good. They're gonna correct it. Uh, they ordered the materials, and um, <laughs> so um, it's it's pretty much done. Aside from that, and aside from just kind of they're gonna fill in these little gaps down here uh, at, underneath the shelves. So <laughs> that's about it. And um, let me know if y'all want to see like a bookshelf tour once I finally figure out how I want to organize this. 
And um, that's going to be the end of this. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed these videos about the home library. I know I'm not like an official booktuber or anything like that. But I'm one of those people that loved reading as a kid. And um, I just, I, I want to get back to it. And uh, the easiest way for me to get back to it is to have everything organized where I can, you know, everything just like right at my fingertips where I know where it is and pick out a book and all that. So, um, yeah. So let me know if y'all like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you feel inclined. Let me know what you're currently reading or what book recommendations you have. And I will talk to y'all later.